at about 31 yards per kickoff return. And so under the sun with the lights, they go empty, the Cowboys blitz, the pass is complete across the middle for a first down and more. Protection first, you get the protection, quick throw, and hash, always look for the plays over to the field. The screen is batted and intercepted. The pressure comes and it pays off for Wyoming. They're right on the doorstep of the red zone. It's Jabari Jackson put it in the air and came down with it. And over the last couple of weeks, last week he had the big force fumble. That and he recovered the fumble last week. This time, just an athletic play. Gets up, get a hand up, deflect it, and then go get your own interception. That's an outstanding play by the junior defensive tackle. Just making a play. If you, they want this game to be in a telephone booth, Mike. They want to make sure this thing is tackle to tackle. And it's all Xavier Valade all the way as he takes the snap and converts the first down. On second down, they hand it off. Brett Brenton, who's got just 9, 19 carries on the year, gets blown up by Devin Anders popping off on the play. Yeah, but it starts with a bad snap by the center, Keegan Kreider. That snaps high, and what happens there? Brent Britton, it just throws off what? Brett Britton, it throws off the... Pressure comes from the corner, the blitz is successful, and the ball pops loose. Troy Leffridge from the secondary forces pressure and falls on the loose football. Another turnover. Now you want to make sure, was this knee down or any part of the body down? I don't see a body part that goes down. It looks to be like the ball is actually coming out before a body part, whether it's a knee, a shin, an elbow. Is going out. That's a fumble to me from up here, Mike. And just a great call by Justin Inna, defensive coordinator for Utah State, bringing Troy Leffridge. So far, both these teams not off to their best starts. Love steps through the pressure like a maze and then tumbles down. So on back-to-back -back drives, the quarterbacks are brought to their feet by pressure to get them down to the ground. There is a flag down on this punt for Utah State. Austin Conway gets out of the room as it takes an Aggie bounce and roll inside the 25-yard line. Flag back at the 29-yard line. They leave Valade in to block. The pass to Markov, the tight end, is bobbled and caught, but with his forward progress, that should be enough for the first down for the big red shirt freshman. Context, that tied a school record that happened the last time in 1994. Catching, well, I'm hesitating to say run, maybe a jog for Marcotte there with not a lot of room to really get his speed going. The Aggies show blitz and they bring it. It's another quick throw, but it's behind Austin Conway. Incomplete and they'll have to punt. They disguise their pressure. Quick outlet valve along the sideline. It's Bright, the running back again, but he is short of the first down marker, and the punt team comes on again. Conway, the wide receiver from the 32. Backward for one and forward for a couple, but nothing monumental on his return. That's where I'm looking. Just one safety drop for Utah State. Vanderwall gets away from the first wave. Now he's on the move, takes off, and has the first down as he runs for it. I think a lot of people were hoping that Vanderwall can kind of live up to some of those expectations. They hand it off to Conway. First down for the senior wide receiver. Not only is he a better player, but he's also in a better state of mind this year. That pass across the middle earns him a first down. The tight end, Josh Harshman, dragging defenders, and it takes a trio of blue and gray Aggies to take him down at the 10. You're out of Casper, Wyoming. Yeah, that's what he, the big boys, right? Just get him the ball, a little RPO action, get the linebackers biting up, and just a nice little toss. By... Vanderwall on third and six, Harshman. Nabbed it with one hand, finished it with two. He's short of the first down. They had third and six. And play of the drive. Big quarterback. 
Valade to the left, and he stops short. A turnover on downs as the Aggies hold and take the ball back. Now, but this is just a great read by number 33. Seeing space and understanding going outside in. That's clinic tape. That's the tape that tomorrow you get up, you get excited in the meeting room knowing you made a big play on fourth down. First quarter, Utah State held the ball for almost 11 of the first 15 minutes. Ball is tipped and intercepted, and the Cowboys are on the board first. Logan Wilson, the senior, with the pick six from eight yards out. The zone, everyone's in their zone, and Jordan Love is just staring it down, just staring it down. Just a good job, ball deflected. Logan Wilson, one of the best linebackers in all of the Mountain West. The ball falls right in his A few other Mountain West games today as well. Hawaii's in Las Vegas. They take on UNLV. And then later tonight, Mountain West after dark on ESPN2. Colorado State Air Force, New Mexico at Boise State. Jordan Nathan. If I'm Wyoming, I'm bringing pressure again. It doesn't get there. The throw over the top. Closer to the secondary than it was to Mariner as Elijah Halliburton, the safety. Christopher Bartolik, the former junior college punter, now at the FBS level, first season. Wide receiver Conway. It's through a couple of teammates and out to the 37 yard line where the, Ag or the Aggies will play defense. 55 percent, which was the best for a Wyoming quarterback in two years. His check down is even high off the hands of Valaday. Gains four, and they are right back to it with an empty backfield. The shoulder shimmy, long ball down the sideline, it is caught. There goes COC Mariner. Cutting it back inside the 10, touchdown Utah State. 80 yards for number 80. And Love had one of his passes taken away and returned for a touchdown. This one, right guy, right place, right time. 7-7. Seven, seven. Valade, a first down run. Out across the 40. They had the choice, second and 25 or third and 15. And with the way this offense has worked, they've rolled the dice on their defense to get one stop they did and Utah State will get the ball back got the score in the last play now getting the ball back two returners though they did it on the last punt as well maximize their options Devin Tompkins takes the fair catch right at the 20 numbers were off the charts good he hands it off here for a big burst Jalen Warren out across the 40-yard line gain 16 could go out and make the grab. They sneak it and get the first down as they advance into Wyoming territory, trying to break a 7-7 tie. The largest Bears fan I know. <laughs> nice play design here on first down as they get it to the sideline with Devin Tompkins, a pickup of 12. And 14th in the country overall in terms of points allowed. Wide open, break down the sideline. A blown coverage leads to six for Utah State. 35 yards, another big play. The Aggies have the lead. First of all, just great route, but understand this. <laughs> Logan Wilson, feel like you've got time to get all the way to the outside, but I always learn this. Know your ability and the guy across from you's ability. And Bright is one of the best players for Utah State. Big return gets him out almost to the 40-yard line. So Valade lowers the shoulders, a first down run, which hadn't happened in 25 years. to the outside the stiff arm but a great tackle by Metzenheimer although at the end he does draw the flag started good and ended poorly running back group that looks like they may be without Xavier Valade the rest of the game Vanderwall nearly intercepted there is a flag thrown coming down the sideline and he's got every right to be there that's just a great job by the defensive back that should not have been Pass interference. 
Vanderwall takes off. Room to go. He's upended near the goal line, and it's a touchdown for the Cowboys from 11 yards out. After 33 yards on penalties, he provides the last 11. And I just said it, Mike. It's going to fall on Tyler Vanderwall's shoulder. Jordan Love slinging it today. C.O.C. Mariner with that touchdown grab. And it's Caleb Rep, the tight end, who finds himself open off the sideline. Mariner with that 80-yard grab. You had Gerald Bright breaking away from the defense last possession. This time it's Rep for 28 yards. All of a sudden across midfield. Love gets flushed. He sidearms it. Another great throw. And his receivers are helping him out today in ways they have often not this year. It's Jordan Nathan for 11 yards. Second down, punishing run from Jalen Warren. They haven't called his number often, but he moves the chains. Potential first round pick, Jordan Love. Two defenders, he makes them collide. And he finds his way to the 30 yard line. ESPN 2 with more Mountain West action later tonight. From 47 yards, Eberle with a sidewinder that is good. And the Aggies leap in front by three. Well, first of all, this field goal, you got to really think. On their last drive, their leading running back, who they handed it off to 37 times last week in their overtime loss against Boise State. Leverage, and it really doesn't even count as the play had a penalty. Long toss over the middle, and it's intercepted. Shaq Bond comes up with a takeaway for Utah State. Exactly that position for the Aggies. You know, Mike, I don't get a vote in the Mount West Signify Conference. Signify the incomplete pass because the official at the goal line said touchdown. Nobody signaled incomplete. This time, Mariner, who's already caught a long ball for a touchdown, 80 yards, gets them right on the cusp of field goal range for Eberle with a gain of 23. Where if they can't throw. He zips it out. Jordan Nathan makes the catch and is quickly cut down. Short of a first down, final timeout for Utah State. Try from 44 for Eberle, who's made more field goals in Mountain West Conference history than anybody else. And give him one more. 59th of his career, but it's marred by a flag. You can't use your own player to give you leverage to jump up. So you can't jump up. First of all, and land on someone to convert some third downs in the second half. Xavier Valade, first down yardage as he's met right at the line, but did get enough after the tackle from Justice Tae. That's a burst up the middle, a first down, and a leap for more yardage by Brett Brenton, just his second carry of the day. <laughs> Gain of 25, just right up the middle, right? So you get a little bit of a leap. <laughs> he jumps right over Shaq Bond, the outstanding safety for Utah State. But that's the red shirt freshman showing off legs to convert some of these second and third and shorts. That time a solid tackle from Leftridge. Well, everything field goal kicker as well. The three-man rush, and it gets there, and it takes them out of field goal range. Tipa Naliyai, the senior from outside Dallas, brings down Vanderwall for a loss of 11. That You had an opportunity for Cooper Roth to come out and attempt a field goal, and that's just, just a great play on the outside. I mean, you said it, Mike. You had that athleticism for the sack. Ryan Galovich, the punt, a fair catch at the 14-yard line. Utah State with the ball and the lead. It's three, they beat them by better than three touchdowns on average. But they've got room to make up, essentially, because they're not the highest ranked between Utah State last and Wisconsin first. Wanted to get it to Mariner, and there's a flag thrown. Appearance. This is a bad call by the officials. They come back to get the 
first down. It was offensive. I'm offended by that. <laughs> C.O.C. Mariner took Tyler Hall and threw him out of the way. The ball up, so it wasn't even a precision-type pass. Fakes the give to Gerald Bright, a dart to the sideline. That's a nice grab by Mariner to reach back across his body and bring it in. The Utah grab transfer has proved crucial these last two weeks. The underneath route, that's a good job by the senior. Third down, slant to come back and get it. First down as he hits Savon Scarver. He threw for 3,500 yards. He throws again, looking for rep and throws too far. There's a flag down, two of them as a matter of fact, in the area of the pass. Uh, we may get Tompkins, Nathan, and rep all to the left. Love looks that way, scrambles that way. First down ball comes loose, and the Aggies are first on the scene. Almost a turnover, which is how Love started the day. From the shotgun with Jalen Warren, his running back. He gives it to Warren. He's pushed back, and they're going to need a generous mark here to keep this drive alive. If I'm Wyoming. Blitz up the middle. Valade marked at the two, whereas forward prop. That could have been a lot worse. Well, Brent Vegan, you've had better calls, but calling the screen pass down here in the shadows of your own end zone with one of the most heady, instinctive linebackers in the Mountain West and Kevin Metzenheimer. Coverage gets tighter. Galovich gets it away. The low kick out of the end zone. Taken by Jordan Nathan, the wide receiver. He goes lateral at the 40. And out around the 31-yard line. Flag is in at the end of the play. There's some late hits that overflow into the Wyoming sideline after that 14-yard return. Four-man rush. Throw to the end zone. Nearly a one-handed catch, but instead incomplete. As Mariner has been his top option. The highest scoring player in school history has hit from 47, 44, and now from 26. He does it again. 23-14, Utah State. Here. Georgia Bulldogs came into action today, a 24% chance to make the playoff, according to the playoff predictor. Sixth best of any school, like you said, up point. After they turned it over at the end of the first half, it could have been a much closer game, and this is how they win games, giving it to number six, Xavier Valadin. Brenton at the top of the eye here on second down and short. Troy Lefferich says no way. He wraps around the formation and bottles up the freshman running back. We've seen number three all over the field. And it's been his blitzing off the edge, right? He blitzed earlier in the state of Florida. Comes in here late third quarter with his team up 23 to 14. is to Bright on first down. He moves the chains with that carry. The senior, a nice run for 11. And for the run. Nice spiral over the middle, and it's caught at the 40 from 140 to the other. Taylor Compton. On. Columbia pressured. Everly, three for three today. This is longest try of the afternoon. Plenty of distance on it, but he sails it wide. No good. Scoreless in the second half. Still looking, as you said before, for that first huge explosive run from Xavier Valade, who went for 124 yards last week against Fresno State. Finds 13 yards there to get them right near midfield. He lines up in the slot. He's targeted, and he didn't see the ball. It's intercepted. Utah State coming back the other way, and the Aggies have first and goal. The interception by Eric Munoz. That's the advantage that they have, but you got to put the ball to the outside. You don't put it to the inside. And Eric Munoz just sat there and read the eyes of Vanderbilt. Pixlet, a new quarterback in a different cadence. They run the screen, complete to Tompkins inside the 10. They've got Dominic Everly.
Field goal is good. 26 14, Aggies. They fake the give. Vanderwall runs, throws, and completes for a first down. Austin Conway. First down play action. Two receivers crossing the field. Nice grab by Conway to haul that in. Their leading tackler, second leading tackler in the country when you go on a game-by-game -game average. Side on throw gets the first down. Yards today, the running back over the century mark for a fourth straight game. Plenty of options looking downfield, and it's complete to Aiden Eberhardt, the junior from Loveland, Colorado. That's a good play, but there was a better one out there. Play designed for Vanderwall, who's into the end zone. Touchdown Wyoming as they get their first score in almost two quarters. Touchdown number two for Tyler Vanderwall. And it's him taking matters into his own hand. There were five and a half minutes left in the first half. Gerald Bright, a first down run. And it's the safety who stops him. It was four for 14 on third down today. He unloads deep down the sideline. That's well over the head of Mariner, but another flag is thrown. We saw a very questionable pass interference call against Wyoming earlier in the game, and let's see how this one plays out. Great tackle. Now third down and long with the longest active home winning streak in the Mountain West on the line. It's seven straight for Utah State. So Bright, a constantly changing defensive look. The screen is tipped and incomplete. Cash Malawia. Bartolik's punt, it's a fair catch at the 10. Game's coming right down to the wire tonight in Logan. For your offense as well. After the punt, they take it from the 10-yard line. A team that runs the ball top 20 in the country in terms of handoffs per game. Let's go find the first down marker, pick up the first down, and move the chains. The blitz is on. It's a heavy one. Vanderwaal on the run. He throws incomplete. He got flattened as he let it go. Galovich gives the coverage team plenty of time to get downfield. Drive of the game coming up. From the gun, every defender within three yards of the line of scrimmage. Under pressure, Columbi. Oh my goodness, he goes down at the 30 yard line. Bring edge pressure. Bring the pressure off the edge, then no one accounts for it. They were going to hold, they were actually going to throw that football, but you bring the edge pressure because you force the situation as quick as possible. That time, Columbia, remember, he's not been in there. The ball after this punt. And it is a good one. From the 20, here comes Conway. He's got to break across midfield, and he slips another tackle. He's inside the 40, and the game will be decided in the final two minutes. But there is a flag at the 40. Vanderwall steps up, wrapped around the waist, and his pass is almost intercepted. Defensive end lined up at the bottom. They hold him up through the middle. A fastball is caught for a first down by Conway. He gets 12, and that momentarily stops the clock a minute 44. It's window to throw in. Pressure comes. Nalayaki. He slips off. And to the sideline, the running back, Valade, <laughs> sneaks out of bounds. A four-man rush. Pressure up the middle. Sends Vanderwall on the run. He lets it go, and another first down throw. It's complete to Gunner Gentry. Again, out of the pocket, right? Anytime he escapes out of the pocket or just buys a little bit more time, Wyoming needs a touchdown to take the lead. 
Sideline throw again. The execution has been better. Gentry with his second straight grab. Vanderwall with a second and five. He throws to the middle of the field and it's intercepted. That'll end the game. Eric Munoz gets another one and it's a game winning pick for Utah State. You can't throw across your body in that situation. He had yards but he was trying to make the big play. And that's something that offensive coordinator Brett Vegan could have told him before that drive as well. You can't score it in one play. Let's keep driving all the way down. He had an opportunity just to get yards and get out of bounds.